A review then of the year nine end of year term six test, starting with the multiple choice. Hopefully you can see over on the right here, the questions. So question one, It says a skier walks from the bottom of a ski slope to the top of the ski slope and gains 10,000 joules of gravitational potential energy. She skis down the slope at the bottom of the slope. Her kinetic energy is 2,000 joules. How much was converted into thermal and sound? Well, this is about the conservation of energy. So if you have 10,000 joules at the top, you'd expect to have 10,000 joules at the bottom. You will have 10,000 joules but she's only got 2,000 joules of kinetic energy, so 8,000 joules must have been lost to other things, thermal and whatever. Okay, so. That's that. Question two then, I'll work across to give me more room on my screen here. A power station uses nuclear fission to obtain energy in this process. Nuclear energy is first changed into. Well, uh, you should hopefully recall that what you do in a power station generally is you boil water. So it is converted into thermal energy is the answer there. Question three, a person lifts boxes of equal weight onto a platform, which quantity will not affect the work done? Well, we're thinking here that work is force times distance and the force uh, as a minimum will be the weight of the box. So the mass of the box, gravity, the weight of the box and the distance the box is lifted. These all affect the work done. So the height, yes. Number of boxes, well, yes, because that's more weight shifted in effect. Uh, the time taken, well, there's no time in here, is there? And the weight of the box, well, we've already established that the weight or the number of boxes uh, will affect the work done. So it must be C is the answer there. Question four, P, Q and R, which ones are renewable? Well, geothermal is, nuclear is not. Often people think it is, but it's not. And sunlight, of course, is. So it is P and R that are renewable. So the answer is B. Question five. A measuring cylinder contains some water, small metal blocks slowly lowered in and then removed. Finally, a piece of plastic is attached to the metal block and the block is again slowly lowered into the water. The diagrams show the measuring cylinder at each stage of the process. What's the volume of the piece of plastic? Well, you had 80 centimeters cubed here and 70 here. The difference, of course, is the plastic, so the volume is 10 centimeters cubed. Question six. A student runs up a flight of stairs. Which variable does not affect the power developed against gravity? Well, the height will. The length of the stairs, well, that's nothing to do with what you're doing against gravity. The height is the distance through which you do work uh, against gravity and so b is a likely answer c of course does affect power and the weight of the student will affect the work done which will affect the power so the answer is b you'll notice that i'm checking all these answers as i go that's good practice with multiple choice questions because if you find that you think there are two possible answers you know you've got some more thinking to do the speed time graph 
is for a bus traveling between stops where on the graph is the acceleration of the bus greatest well this is a speed time graph so the acceleration being the rate of change of velocity or speed we're looking for the steepest part of the graph the biggest rate of change the biggest gradient and that of course is b question eight A parachutist inside an aeroplane has a mass of 70 kilos. What's his mass after he's jumped from the plane? Well, his mass is 70 kilos all the time, unless he loses some on the way down his lunch or whatever. So the answer is C. Question nine. I need a bit more space for question nine. So a pendulum is set in motion and timed. The time measured for 20 complete swings is 30 seconds. What is the time for one? Well, we have 30 seconds for 20. So it's three over two is 1.5 seconds is the answer there. 30 seconds, 20 swings, one and a half seconds. Question 10. A swimmer sitting on a rock at the seashore looking at passing waves. You notice that five complete wavelengths pass in 20 seconds. What is the frequency? Well, that's five waves in 20 seconds, which would be four waves in one second. No. Four seconds per wave, my apologies, and therefore since uh, the frequency is one over the period. If the period is four seconds, it takes four seconds for every wave. The frequency then is one over that. It's a quarter. The answer is A. Question 11. A girl notices that when she shouts into her cage, she hears an echo. What wave property is that? Well, it is reflection, of course. Nice and easy. Question 12. A man stands by a railway track and train travelling at 40 meters per second it takes two seconds to pass the man. What is the length of the train? Well, the train will travel 40 meters every second. It travels 80 meters then in two seconds. And so the train must be 80 meters long. The answer is D. Question 13. The diagram shows four waves drawn to the same scale. Which statement is correct? You have to think really carefully about these because they're quite confusing. The amplitude of P and R are the same. P has an amplitude of one division on the scale. So does R. So that's true. The amplitude of S is double the amplitude of Q. Two and two, that is not true. Wavelength of Q is double the wavelength of P. Wavelength 1, 2, 3, 4 for Q and 1, 2, 3, 4 for P. So that's not true. Wavelength of S, the same as that of Q. Well, that is a wavelength of 2, that is a wavelength of 4. So that is not true. The answer was A. We established that straight off, but we need to check all the answers just in case our thinking is flawed. 14. Light waves pass from air into glass and are refracted. What always remains constant, this is just a fact, the frequency does not change during refraction. Direction, speed, wavelength, absolutely they can and mostly do change. Direction might not, but frequency never changes. Question 15, which waves are longitudinal? Well, we have light, which is electromagnetic, microwaves are electromagnetic, water waves, which are not electromagnetic, but those three are transverse. Sound is longitudinal, so the answer is D. Question 16, the current in a kettle is 10 amps and is protected by a 13 amp fuse. 
If you replace the 13 amp for a 3 amp fuse, what happens when the kettle is switched on? Well, you would expect the fuse to blow. So it has to be A or B, of course. Now, is the kettle damaged in this or is it not? Well, fuses are there to protect property, primarily. And so uh, the answer should be B. Question 17 then. A toy car without a motor is moving at high speed along a track. The toy car follows a vertical loop as shown. Which rule describes the changes that are taking place in the kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy of the car in the position shown? Well, in the position shown, the car is coming down. So it's losing gravitational potential. And by conservation of energy, the energy that it had here, it still has. Just the mix of Ke and Pe is changing. So as it got to here, it was virtually all K, uh, GPE. So now it is falling, it's losing GPE, but gaining kinetic energy. So we're looking for this to be smaller and this to be bigger. So uh, decreasing, increasing, the answer is C. Question 18 then. The speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second. The speed of ultraviolet waves is 300 million meters per second, which rule gives a possible frequency and speed of an ultrasound wave. Well, ultrasound is sound and therefore it must be 330 meters per second. Ultrasound has a frequency greater than 20 kilohertz, so it can't be that, it can't be that, it could be that, and the speed is right, but the speed is wrong there, so the answer must be C. 19. A car accelerates from rest and travels a distance of 100 meters in 10 seconds, which speed time graph represents the motion of the car. Starts at rest, so it can't be that one, and it can't be that one, could be either of those. It travels 100 meters in 10 seconds, so the area under our speed time graph needs to be a uh, 100. So that would be half the base, 5 times 20 would be 100. So the answer would be B. That would be uh, 50. So that's 100. That's right, it's B. Question 20. The diagram is the speed time graph for a bicycle journey. Where is the bicycle moving with a constant speed? Well, here you can see the speed is increasing. Here it is constant. Here it is decreasing. Here is a constant but not moving. So it's not moving. And here we have acceleration again. So it is between 20 and 40. The answer is B. Question 21. The graph shows how the distance traveled by a vehicle changes with time. Which row describes the speed of the vehicle in each section of the graph? Well, this is a distance time graph. So this tells us we have a constant speed. And this tells us we are not moving because the distance is not changing with time. And here we have another constant speed. So, speed, P to Q, constant. Zero, constant. Seems good to me. That is A. Twenty-two. The stone falls freely from a cliff. Air resistance can be ignored. So the only force acting on this stone is its weight, which is caused by gravity. So the acceleration is constant. So we're looking at acceleration time graphs. And because there is no air resistance, the acceleration is constant because the only force is the weight. It has to be D. Twenty-three. Light strikes a plane mirror and is reflected. The angle between the ray of light and the mirror is 20 degrees. Which angle 
uh, which letter is the angle of reflection. Well, the angle of incidence and reflection, those angles are measured between the ray and the normal. This is 90 degrees by definition, so that must be 70. If that's 70, by the law of reflection, so is that. So the answer must be B. Question 24. A man stands 110 metres from a high wall. He makes a short, sharp sound and then hears an echo from the wall. The speed of sound is 330 metres per second. How long after making the sound does the man hear the echo? Well, the sound has to go from him to the wall 110 metres and back 220 metres. 220 metres is two thirds of 330 metres. So it takes two thirds of a second. The answer is B. And finally, 25, two cars P and Q have different engines. The input power from the fuel is the same for both. The engine in car P is more efficient than the engine in car Q. Which statement about the cars or their engines must be true? Well, P doesn't have to have a higher maximum speed than Q. They have the same power. It has a lower maximum speed. Well, again, it doesn't have to be. Uh, it's The power is the same. The engine in P uses less energy per hour than the engine in Q. Or the engine in P waste less energy per hour than the engine in Q. I think we have to be very careful here. Uh, the term use, well, that's that's a useful thing, right? And we're talking about efficiency. So uh, because P is more efficient, it wastes less energy. The answer is D. Question 25. 